Hey boys and girls, we're back for another video. This one on some of the most difficult probability questions on the ACT. Let's take a look. This is number 47 from an ACT. This is not probably the easiest one to start out with. Just warm it up. But let's give it a shot. The first thing that I would say is I don't really read the, for the full question. I actually start reading right around here. Really, right where the question mark is. It says... What is the probability that Yulon will draw a black marble first and then a green marble second without replacement? That's kind of important as well. Well, what I always do is my slot method. I put two slots because really there's two events. She's going to put her arm in and draw the first marble and then the second. The other thing that I notice is that it says and. And. Remember that the word and means multiply. Again, and means multiply or means add. I have another probability video that kind of explains that. So I'll try to link that for you. But that's a good start. Now, what was the probability of drawing a black marble? Well, black was six out of 30. Notice there are 30 total marbles, so you don't have to add them up. And then drawing a green. Well, green is how many? Green is two, so that's going to be two out of, wait a second, how many marbles are there in the bag? 29. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense because after you draw the black marble, really, after you take out the 30th marble, how many marbles are there? Well, there's 29. That should make a lot of sense. When you multiply these two together, you should simplify to this fraction, 2 one forty fifths, and that is your answer, B. Let me know if you have any questions on that in the comments. But if not, let's move on to some of the harder questions. Let's come over here for this one. This one is pretty tough. This is actually from the June 2022 ACT, really just a few months ago. This question was on there as a number 53. I think one of the hardest questions on that test. I'll let you pause the video here if you'd like to give it a shot by yourself. But if you'd la rather just watch along with me, let's get into it. What I understand is that, well, first of all, this person wants both chocolate chip cookies or both oatmeal raisin or both sugar cookies. What is the probability that both the cookies you choose are the same type? Well, Again, like I said, that could be both chocolate chips or both events or chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin or sugar cookie. And that's important because what do we say? Or is additive. So oatmeal raisin is two events and then sugar cookie is two events. And I'm adding these probabilities. Again, it could be chocolate chip both or both oatmeal raisin or both sugar cookie. At which point we can recognize, well, wait a second, what's the chance of me drawing two chocolate chips? Well, 5 out of 10 times 4 out of 9 plus, what's oatmeal raisin? 3 out of 10 times 2 out of 9 plus sugar cookie. Well, sugar cookie could be 2 out of 10 times 1 out of 9. When you add up all these probabilities, really when you multiply this and then add, multiply this and add and multiply this and add, you should have, oopsies, answer choice C. Tell me if that made any sense at all. It should make sense again because this is the probability if you got two chocolate chips in a row, this is the probability that you got oatmeal raisins in a row, and this is the probability that you got two sugar cookies in a row. And then you have to add them because it could be any of them. So we'll move on to the last question here, which is down here, number 60. I would argue this is the hardest one. This is, again, from a recent ACT, I think a 2021, but this one's really tough. I'll let you pause here and try this question by yourself if you'd like, but if you'd rather just watch along, you can do that as well. It says, of the 16 cars on a rental car lot, six are minivans, seven are sedans, and three are hatchbacks. Talia will rent three of these cars. 
What is the probability that Talia will rent one of each of these three types of cars? So, so she wants to draw three cars, and she wants one of each. Well, in that case, it's not too bad because there's three events. Of course, you're multiplying through them, so it's Miniman is 6 sixteenths times sedan would be now 7 over... Well, wait a second. One of the minivans was gone, so it's going to be 15 cars to choose from. And then three are hatchbacks. Well, three hatchbacks, which means this will be three out of 14, right? Because you're losing one. Once you choose this minivan, you can't really choose from it anymore. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I think when you do this, you get an answer of three eightieths. And at that point, you should be kind of alarmed. You should say to yourself, oh, man, that's not an answer choice. It's pretty close. I mean, this and this kind of do resonate with me. Those might be answer choices that I want to watch out for, but I don't have anything so far. So at that point, I'm like, wait a second, there's more to this question. Well, this was the scenario where you got a minivan first, then a sedan, then a hatchback. I'll write that again. This was minivan, sedan, hatchback. Well, that's pretty cool. But what about, what if I got minivan, hatchback, sedan? What if I got um, hatchback, minivan, sedan? What if I got hatchback, minivan, or sorry, sedan, minivan? Yada, yada, you guys are starting to get the idea. There's more combinations or really permutations here that we can choose from. And whenever I see something like this, I think about, really, there's three object, minivan, sedan, and hatchbacks. There's three factorial. In other words, there's three times two times one different combinations that you could choose from. And really, when you do that, that comes out to six. So this times six gets you the answer choice of J. Whenever these, there's these weird kind of order things where you can put things in different orders, um, factorial or permutations are what we want to think of. And that's the idea here. Now, to be completely honest, if you were to do this a different way, in other words, count the different combinations, you could do that too. In other words, there's minivan, sedan, hatchback. There's minivan, hatchback, sedan. There's sedan, minivan, hatchback. There's sedan, hatchback, minivan. There's hatchback, minivan, sedan, hatchback, sedan, minivan. I'm starting to lose my mind. But as you can see, how many different permutations are there here? Oh, there's actually six. There's no more. So if you didn't realize to use factorial, which to be honest, most high school students, I would have never thought of as a high school student to use, you could just sit there and manually count them up. This is a number 60. So yes, you do have a little extra time to work with this. But that's how we would work through number 60. Really, it would be 3 80ths times the six different permutations that it could exist. I'll stop blabbing on about this question if that was useful for you or helpful for you, please like, share, and subscribe, and chime off in the comments if you have any remaining questions or question types that you want to see me do. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.